see. How does this place look? <laughs> I think it needs a little bit of curb appeal. I mean, the roof looks good, yeah? No. We could get away with the roof, sir. There's no irrigation? No, so none we, whatsoever. So I'll design the landscaping as always? <laughs> oh, please don't be disgusting. Oh, I don't think so. All right. Yeah. You know what? It's actually pretty clean and nice. It's pretty clean. <laughs> It's kind of sad that we call this clean. It is. There's a bar set up. You got a fireplace. That's not even a fireplace. What is, is that? Oh. It's not. Somebody <laughs> you would think it is. Thought that would be a good idea. <laughs> huh. A faux fireplace. Interesting. All right, let's keep going. Kitchen's weird. It feels like it's part of the living room. This is very strange to lay out. Very small. This isn't load bearing, huh? Not load bearing, no. You know what? This, if we did get the house and we took out that wall, we could probably put an islander in. Yeah, like that. it would definitely need an island. Either an island or a peninsula. Peninsula. Okay. I like that idea, Izzy. Actually, you know what? You can make a big kitchen because you can run the peninsula all the way from here over, and then you can do bar seating. So what do we have over here? This just makes no, no sense. This would have to go. Could you take down this wall? It's all load bearing. It'd be a huge expense if you do that. I wonder if you just close this up and then knock out the bar area and do like a formal dining room. That's definitely a thought. Bedroom number one, huh? kind of small. Bedroom two, looks like private bathroom. Hey, there's an actual master bedroom and bathroom. That never happens. Small bedroom, but Lisa has a private bathroom. So what do you think in there? Small bathroom, six, seven? I'd like to convert that tub to a shower. That'd be nice. So it'd be an extra 1,500, 95. So about 10 grand? 9,500. Jeez, maybe we just leave it as is. <sighs> It's nice, actually. Oh, my god! The tile's in good shape. The toilet's nice. The cabinet has to be painted. It's linoleum. Five, 500 bucks. Here's another bathroom. This one has a tub, so we could definitely make that one a shower and then keep this one a tub-shower okay. combo. We could actually glaze the tile. Oh, come on. All right. Jeez. How much for this one? It's bigger. It'll be 7,500. So bedroom number three, three bedrooms. There's four bedrooms here, right? Yeah. So three on this side, master's on this side, so there's probably one off the kitchen. Oh, there's a hallway. Oh, this looks like an exterior door. This used to be like a patio, huh? Are they considering that the fourth bedroom? Oh. It's kind of a bedroom. Oh, come on. This is a fourth bedroom. It looks like it's meant to be outside. Tax records say it's a four bedroom house. Four bedroom, two bath. There's three on that side, one here. So Yeah, but look at the walls. You know, probably when it was built, they got it permitted. I don't know what to say, because you know the tax roll won't show it as a four bedroom unless it is, because they go through the city. Well, we'd have to add a closet. All right, let's check out the backyard. This is an 1140 square foot house with four bedrooms and two baths. Off the kitchen is the garage and a fourth bedroom, which leads out to the backyard. It's a big can... yard. I'm a little nervous here, because it almost looks like someone was living in there. Oh, come on. Is that your fifth bedroom? That looks like it's about to fall over. I'm We've not going in there. The Tell me someone wasn't living in there. It's being held by doors. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is weird. All right. So how much are you thinking? It's not that big of a house. It's fairly clean. I didn't see anything major. This could go from 60 to 80. It's a big spread, Izzy. You're going to need new windows, new kitchen. Yeah, like a remodel, 60. <laughs> now, you want this done right. 60 to 80. Yes, All sir. Right, so I'll, play, I'll make the offer based on 70. OK. 70, but you might want to leave some contingency <laughs> money. 70, but you might want to say 80. <laughs> that fourth bedroom that you're calling, I don't know about that. Yeah, but the tax record says it's a four-bedroom house, so let's just make sure it's permitted. Want to do 435? Sure. I think it's close enough. All right, maybe we get lucky. All right. Thanks, Izzy. Mm-hmm. Keep you posted. The seller accepted our offer, and we got the house for 435000 So now we own it, for better or for worse. Hopefully, Izzy has some good news, and the fourth bedroom is permitted. What's up, Izzy? Hey, guys. Hi. Starting demo without me? Let's do this. Oh, first uh, question. All right. Fourth bedroom permitted. I let me. I gotta show you guys something. This whole structure has to go. It's not legal. So we have a three bedroom house now. I comped it off a four bedroom. House. Yeah. Now we're gonna be competing with four bedrooms, and we're a three bedroom. So when I went down to the city, they actually had a floor plan of what this house used to be, and we're standing in your fourth bedroom. What? Smallest bedroom ever? Is that a closet? That is the closet. I didn't even see this last time. Weird. This is a bedroom. Mm-hmm. We're back to a four bedroom. So we did comp it right. OK, that is good news, actually. That's really good news. <laughs> All right, what do you think of the new layout? 
Well, the plus is it's a four bedroom now. The negative feels really small. Feels really small. Which means the design plan needs to be really special to attract potential buyers. Porcelain tile. It looks like wood, but you can see the finish is a tile. It's cool, but I'm scared to ask how much. Well, it's a little more expensive than laminate, not as expensive as wood, it's super sturdy. I just don't know about the color. This one has kind of green tones to it. This one has like, yeah, sort of more browns and beige. I kind of am leaning towards this one. Really? But I think it's different, it's unique, has more of a warm color. I think it'll be pretty. Do you want to do that through the whole house? Everything except for the bedrooms. I would say go with one of these. White shaker and then countertop. This color, I think, brings out more of the warm tones that we're looking for here. So you're thinking this for countertop, this for flooring, white backsplash. Yeah. I just don't feel like the look of this tile goes to look with that. Just keep it simple and then the flooring is what's going to stand out. And then we can go shopping for the bathroom and come up with something that we both love because I can tell you're not really feeling the flooring. No, I'm not, but I'm trusting you. Okay, shop for the bathroom. All right, sold. <laughs> Now that the illegal addition is gone, it's time to figure out what to do with the space off the kitchen. Izzy, what happened to all the concrete? I had to take it all out. Every, it was draining off towards the house. The illegal build, they did it wrong? Exactly. All okay. right, so well, now we're left with dirt. Can we re-pour concrete, do like a cute patio area? Concrete, you got about maybe four yards. I say about 800 bucks. How much for DG, decomposed granite? Half of that. It's pretty nice, actually, huh? Yeah, much better than just leaving nothing there. So we have about another 30 days in this house. Right. What we could do is do the irrigation. Instead of putting sod in, we can seed the whole backyard. And by the time we're ready to list it, we'll have grass. OK, but only if we saw the front. It's much smaller, and the curb appeal is so important here. Awesome. I think we just saved a lot of money, and it's going to look really cool. The house is really coming together. And to give the curb appeal a boost, we decided to create a cool modern patio off the front door. And even though we went for the less expensive landscaping in the backyard, we still spent over 80 grand. So we have to watch every dollar from here on out. So we paid 435, put 80 grand into it, so that's 517, plus closing costs and staging. So our break even is about 545. Comps are 550 to 575. And those comps had nice yards? Yeah, but the inside of this house is nicer. So initially I was thinking we would list it at 599,000. I say we stole this at 599. It's really tight. Let's hope people really like the design. 599? 599. All right. House looks so cute. I think the green door definitely made it. You think of the backyard growing? Um, not feeling hopeful. However, the curb appeal from the front, perfect. Oh, I love the staging. They did a perfect job of mixing like some contemporary elements to kind of a traditional house. Yeah, you know what? I know that we thought it was going to feel small in here because we got rid of the fireplace, put up the wall, but I think it looks good. I think it's cute. It looks really light, bright, airy, modern. I love these lights. They kind of add like a cool industrial look, and I love the colors. I love the backsplash, too. What I don't love is that there is still Do we have grass? no lawn. Okay, let's look at the bathrooms. All right, check it out. The design's cute. The design is cute. So this is the important one. Master. Ah, oh, love the master. You like my penny tile? Penny tile looks great. Master, the bedroom looks good enough for a master, too, though. Yeah, all the bedrooms look really cute. All right. Oh, they have a nice yeah. pergola here. A lot of space. And we got a lot of dirt. All this dirt, we don't even have grass, you know? It'd be better if there was more concrete. So what'd you guys think? Well, we love the detail. I mean, the flooring, you know, I mean, it's beautiful. We like right. the openness right here as you walk in, you can see from the kitchen. You know, the one thing that really trips us up a little bit is the backyard. We'd have to develop the backyard. It's just, you know, we don't have the budget for that. Thank you. Thank you very have much. Have a great day. I'm starting to think we might be overpriced. Yeah, we're not looking too good today. Thankfully, we held out. After a month and a half on the market, we got a full price offer at $600,000. If this deal goes through, we stand to make over $60,000.